Hey, welcome to the channel of the loquacious one. Happy New Year. I hope the New Year's fine. Everybody fine. We are in 2018 and I'm continuing over from 2017 and I was doing a little series on things I have for my hot cocoa, hot beverage, coffee station, champagne bar, breakfast bar, smoothie bar, whatever you want to call it. It has a multiple, um, myriads of uses that I use it for and I'm going to just show you some of the things that I buy to keep it stock you don't have to spend a whole lot of money if you have the money to spend that is all fine and good but I am doing it on a budget so let me show you some of the little um sweet treats that I use to stock it as well as to bake in some instances and I'm going to include with this my tea collection for the uh, fall winter holiday season okay we're gonna start at the back as usual I got these Ferrelli's Italian lady fingers these are good I got these at Dollar Tree as well as I got these gourmet delight puffy crisp cookie biscuits they are really really good especially when you put a jam on there they're just glazed so those are good to have with your tea uh, also, I keep a stack of these Pirellines Cream Filled Wafers. This is in chocolate hazelnut. They have uh, several flavors, including one in dark chocolate. And when I get through with the tin, I simply take them and I spray paint them and recycle them. I put cupcake liners and other teas in there. So don't forget to recycle. Another thing I found this year at Dollar Tree, far as my um, teas are concerned, the Sophia Traditions. They had these biscottis, and I love biscottis. And they have the lemon cantosos. I'm butchering the name cantosini. I think that is what it is. And it had the almond hazelnut. I think they had one more flavor, maybe, but I know about these two. And another thing that I do is I keep on hand, and I found these at Dollar Tree, are these Welch's Dry Cranberries that came in a six-ounce packet, these Ocean Spray Craisins, and they were in a three-ounce package. And these Sun Made Raisins, I simply add these to my muffin and biscuit mixes and pancakes. Uh, it kind of give it a more home like flavor it just umps it up uh because like i said i'm very busy and i just i do micro cooking i say i kind of take some already prepared stuff and ump it up a little bit and i also like this jiffy blueberry muffin mix it also makes um pancakes and this is really inexpensive because it's under for a dollar and i keep a few boxes and it's also good just in case company comes so you'll have something to offer them for breakfast uh going to big lots they have these uh nonini's salted caramel biscottis and i love uh salted caramel and i love biscottis these are individually wrapped i generally set these out on my um uh chocolate bar my cocoa bar i'm sorry because these are wrapped and i want it to be sanitary and also from Big Lots, this Carousel Candies, it is a highly assortment of chocolate-covered pretzels that are decorated. You can make your own, but that, why, why go through the trouble, I say. And also from Big Lots, I found these festive sprinkle mixes. They had this blue and white snowflake one. And I got a all-around with the parallels, the sugars, the shots, and just sprinkles. These are just so beautiful. $3. And all my sprinkles were, I got them on uh, clearance for half price off. So this was $1.50. And this was $0.75, cents, I believe. I also found from Big Lots... This holiday shimmer and icing pins. And this is really good. If you know someone that celebrates Hanukkah or uh, one of the Hebrew holidays, this is good for that, which is what I do. That's why I got this and this. As well as I got 
this holiday shimmer sprinkle pack with the Pirellis, the flakes, the sugar snows, and beads. And these were $2.80, but I got them again for uh, half off. So these two were indeed $1.40. And uh, I have enough for next year. Uh, also, I went to Dollar Tree. I found these Reynolds Cupcake Liners, 36 cups. And I got these for half off, so they were $0.50 cent a piece. I'll save those for next year. And from Big Lots, I got this lemon juice from Concentrate. It's $1.50 for 16.9 ounces. And I also keep some true lemon packs that I get from Dollar Tree. It's 12 packs in a um, box. As well as from uh, Big Lots, I bought the Martinelli's Organic Mulling Spices. It's 20 spice bags. And this is really good to put in your apple cider, apple juices, and teas if you want to. And I had a selection of teas, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Let me show you this Alpine Spice Apple Cider. It's four pack. I just keep some of these around. I like the kind that you either buy fresh from the local uh, uh, market or... Uh, I will just buy a jug, but these are good to have for a quick apple cider drink. But these I got from the Celestial Seasoning. I got the Caramel Apple Dream, the Cranberry Vanilla Wonderland, the Nutcracker Sweet, and the Black Cherry Berry. These are all Celestial Seasoning. I got them for $2.25 at Big Lots. And I got... The Candy Cane Lane and the Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride. And these are from the Christmas edition. It's two more uh, that I had. I don't know what I did with them. Okay, they're somewhere around here. But there are two more that I had. And I just keep these to try during the winter time to kind of, you know, vary it up and to have a selection for my guests. Okay, folks, that's it. That's all. This is what you see for my little sweet haul for my tea, the tea section, and for my little sweet treat section, and for baking, and how I keep things as simple as raisins. You can keep cranberries, nuts, blueberries, dry berries, frozen berries, so you can ump up your pancakes and your muffins and your cookies and the scones to give them a little festive um, taste and don't forget to get these folks I always get these after the season and I always carry them into the next season so I don't have to spend all that money I'm always prepared I try to do it as less stress free as possible and that shall be it and I wish everybody a very happy new year's hope everybody is safe and we're going to stay prayed up we're going to start getting ready for 2018 and with all of that being said, if you're not a part of my YouTube family, I wish you would become a part for the new year by clicking the subscribe button as well as tapping that notification bell so you can be regularly updated. If you're part of social media, please share with me with someone you think might be interested. I will love you dearly for it. I love you anyway. And if you have any questions, cares, comments, or concerns, leave them in the box below. And until the next time that we meet again, bye-bye.